Start all over again. You ready? Yes. Sean was slinging ink here with Bo. Mobile Death Camp. Bo from Mobile Death Camp. Todd, Mobile Death Camp. Yes. <laughs> we gotta make sure we get that part out. Alrighty, uh, who's your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them in the shop they work at. Okay. Uh, Brian Taylor goes by Monk out of Toledo. Uh, does most of my work. And uh, he's a great tattoo artist. Got Fred Overdeer goes by Durf. He's out of Nashville right now, or close to Nashville. And uh, soon we'll be having Mr. Bob Terrell do some work on me. Nice. Uh, hopefully me too, Bob. Hopefully <laughs> Bob. Bob. <laughs> And, uh, get, I get stuff down up in Detroit, actually in Livonia. I don't, I can't remember the name of the shop. It's fuck man. <laughs> it's not Ink Slingers, but it's Cheryl Tash. Hi Cheryl. <laughs> and uh, from what I understand, you used to be in Guar. I was. I used to be. I'm a used to be. Has been. Never was. I was Beefcake for six years. <laughs> And Believe it. <laughs> what made you decide to leave Guar? Oh, I fucking hate those guys. <laughs> they suck. The pains in the asses. Drama queens. Actually, actually, that's true. But <laughs> why I actually left was, you know, I, I, I'm a guitar player. I played bass for them. I never played bass before until they asked me. So I've been playing guitar for too long. And I like speed metal more, more of an aggressive, violent style, vicious style of metal. And I was figuring, you know, ain't getting any younger. None of us are. So wanted to make a shot, take a shot at it while I still could. So uh, now, what's the inspiration behind your band name? Um, is there a story behind it? Oh, it's so deep, and I'm glad you asked me this. <laughs> Tell me your name again. Sean. Sean, I'm glad you asked me this again. Or not again, but I'm glad you told me your name again, so you could ask me that, so I could reference your name and the answer. Exactly. Um, what was the question? <laughs> What's the um, the meaning behind? Oh that? yeah, yeah. <laughs> mobile Death Camp. Um, in the logo, we have a looks like a little graphic of a well, this, Hello. and it's the Earth, the Earth, and uh, the Earth itself is mobile as it spins around the sun, on a, you know, when it rotate or uh, rotates on its axis. Yes, it sure does, and uh, that makes yeah, it mobile. Nice. And it's a death camp because everybody's <laughs> killing each other and we all hate each other on the Earth. So the Earth is a mobile death camp. Very well played. You didn't think it was going to be so deep, did you? You didn't think I had the capacity to be so deep. You didn't think I knew the term capacity. I don't even know the term capacity. <laughs> um, now, I'm sure being with Guar and, and with your current band, you got some crazy fan and tour stories. Do you like sharing any of this? Hmm. Not really. <laughs> I've watched people fuck All cups right. of piss. i watched people put little... Um, mini carrots rimming around their bum and then ingest them um <laughs> i've seen horrifying things sean <laughs> horrifying um do you guys got any pre-show rituals that you do or uh, yeah we kind of do but we kind of do we knuckle up yeah we knuckle up on stage before the set it's just a and by knuckling up we're not talking about <laughs> that's knuckle off. We that's do that as well, off, but yes. that's not the ritual per se. And do you guys have any side projects, or is this mainly what you guys are doing? I, I mean, this is primarily what we do. I mean, you know, I've got, you know, I have another band back home that's basically on hiatus while we're out here touring and stuff like that. When I'm home, you know, I'll, I'll jam with those guys or something like that. You know, in a band called Habitual Coercion. You know, and actually. Uh, Mr. Steve S. S. Hame from DSI has uh, said that he would play on our next recording that we do. So that's a matter of when we get around to doing it. Right. But you know, we're we're busy out here. So I mean, yeah. you know, while we're do while this is flowing like it is right now, I mean, I just don't have time. You know, so. so you got nothing. Got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Um, do you guys have any advice for any young aspiring musicians? Yes. Quit now and get a job. Make some fucking money. Make something of yourself. There's, there's no money here. Trust me, there's if, no money here. I mean, if, but, you're, uh, if you're really down with yeah. it, man, just practice your fucking ass off. Do everything you can. Understand there's a business side to it. And it's not just all like, man, I just want to jam, dude. Good party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, you, know, you get that a lot. You get people just wanting to party all the time. But it's, it's way more than just the, doing that, you know. I mean, obviously for us, neither one of us do 
any partying, so. Cut yeah. back on the partying and pick up on the practicing yeah. and jump it, into it, the business side of it. it. It'll definitely get you further, you know. Right on. Well, sucks. You know. The business sucks. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Business. You know? yeah. yeah, and the other thing, like I said, I mean, I, li- I like to inspire other, you know, younger musicians and stuff like that, you know. Don't let Im- anybody tell you you can't do it. You know? Right. If you want to do it, you know, make sure that you uh, put everything into it if that's what you want to do. Right on. And how does it make you guys uh, feel knowing that um, you know your fans, that your that your music inspires your fans and helps so many people through some tough times in everyday life? I don't know that we've all, helped anybody. It makes <laughs> me all time. warm and fuzzy. I get this real, yeah. this ooky feeling inside. It feels like there's a butterfly in there. <laughs> that is exactly. That is exactly. The hey, if if we have inspired someone to pick that's their ass up and get and get moving and do something, say so, you know that's awesome, man. Fucking great. You know, I, yeah, that's awesome. Sweet. And last but not least, uh, what are the plans for the future? Yet? Any other tours coming up? New albums? Uh, what can your fans expect? Tours? We're gonna, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna keep playing until, until, until people don't want to see us anymore. We got new, new material. Uh, we're pushing the record that's just been released on Sacrifice. We're gonna push that till like March or April. They said they want to do at least six months before we get in the studio again. And then uh, his tour. Yeah, we're looking for something to do in February and March right now. Just go, go, go. Awesome. <laughs> Definitely thank you guys for hey, the time you, for interviewing us, Slinging Ink Magazine. Oh, hell yeah, man. No problem.